I'm Dr. Bhavjit Kaur uh, from Health and Aesthetic Clinic and today I'm going to discuss what happens to the hair in menopause with Kelly. Kelly has her own um, brand called Scalp Confidential. Hi, Hi Kelly, how are you? I'm very well, how are you? I'm good, thank you. So we are in this month of menopause awareness. Yes. yes? And it's so strange, so many people don't know about menopause and women also, they don't know a lot of uh, things that can happen in menopause. I was talking to uh, my staff today, Queen, uh, who does our marketing and I was saying, is it a pause or is it a full stop? It actually stops, yeah, the periods actually stop. So, and, and woman enters a new phase of life. Yeah. So it's it's like a new sentence. It's not a comma, not a pause. The new so chapter. Stop. Yeah, it's a new <laughs> chapter. A new chapter yeah, 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 yeah. So you see a lot of patients for hair. Yeah. So what do you see in patients uh, with menopause? What happens to their hair? Um, I see, well, the main thing that they would normally present with is um, that their hair starts to kind of, it's, in just above the temple area starts to get finer and finer here um, but it also it can become thin all over um, maybe not as shiny and as healthy coarse doesn't grow as fast um, they get a lot more shedding um, they get all sorts of all manner of problems that they come in with but the main thing i notice is they don't know that that could be men um, caused by the menopause or caused by maybe the estrogen declining or the hormones starting to to change in their body. So yeah. that's why it's good for us to have this chat today because yeah. I don't. Everyone thinks hot flushes, um, night sweats, mood swings. Everybody knows those in a little box, but there's so many others. What what's your Yes, so there are two main types of uh, hair loss that can happen in women. Uh, you're right. So it is the, uh, you know, the frontal fibrosing alopecia mm -hmm. where you see, you know, there is loose, they yeah. lose hair from the front and from the sides. Yeah. And then there is female pattern uh, of hair loss. Mm -hmm. And that happened, that could happen even to women who are not in mm -hmm. menopause, but it becomes more pronounced in when, men, they, when, they, reach, when they are in menopause. So, um, so there is estrogen dependence in that type of hair loss. Mm -hmm. uh, the frontal fibrosing alopecia, the one that you see that in the front there is no hair, it mostly happens in, um, in fair skinned people, in the white skin mm -hmm. type. Yeah. It's not seen to so much in ethnic uh, people. Yeah. Yeah. And uh, I know it's so depressing. And if they start the treatment, when they are approaching menopause it's not that they have to wait for menopause if they know they are approaching menopause they should start taking some vitamins some yeah. vitamin d uh, they should start having some treatments for hair growth with growth factors like AQ solution uh, and some dermastamping that will help yeah. to boost the hair growth what are your thoughts on that no certainly like anything the, the sooner you deal with any issue whether it be hair loss or skin or whatever the the more options are open and, and the, the better the results in many cases so yeah i do see a lot of people who are maybe quite their hair loss may be quite progressive or it might be sort of quite a way down the line and it, it, it would have been great to have seen them yeah. So these, ago, six months ago. Yeah. So these treatments uh, can help hair growth to come back. Yeah. Um, again, it depends on the underlying cause. But talking just about this particular thing, um, and certainly a, a course uh, or two of AQ skin solutions with something like Flint Scar together can really help to rebalance the hair cycle and help to sort of feed and nourish and rejuvenate the. Okay. Cells and, and women also have uh, sometimes women have well, heavy periods just before they actually become menopausal so they lose a lot of iron so there could be iron deficiency so we need to check their bloods mm -hmm. for iron vitamin b's vitamin d 
uh, in UK, everybody is deficient in vitamin D. There's no sunlight. <laughs> so from sunshine. October to March, everybody should be on vitamin D uh, as there is not enough sunlight. Um, also, women in menopause, they start getting facial hair. So that is also another issue. issue. In one area, yeah. one yeah. 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 <laughs> yeah. So when they start getting facial hair, uh, the, they can come for laser hair removal and they can have that treatment done for facial hair. Yeah. So hair, uh, losing hair on the hair, on the scalp and getting hair on the face is very common during menopause. And of course, uh, in this clinic we can help uh, with uh, getting more hair on your scalp and getting rid of the extra hair on your face which you don't want. Thank you.